John again, but I also want all of you to know that the reason you're here is because of John. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you, Joanna, for everything over the years, um, all your basket knowledge and and what you've been so willing to share and opening your home when I've come your way and just all these things. And But most of all, your friendship over the years has just been such a special treat for me. And most of my fondest basket memories include you and sneaking through some kitchens and hat parties and <laughs> long john things and just all kinds of great fun. So thank you, thank you, thank you. I just want to say thank you to Joanna for carrying on the Willow Basket tradition and for uh, reinforcing my heritage. Uh, I don't know how my dad found out about you or Sandy Whalen or even uh, Lee and Lindy at Willow Glen, but somehow through periodicals or whatever he found out. Uh, and I'm so glad he did. And it was really special to him to connect with other basket weavers outside of our community. So uh, keep on weaving. Hi, Joanna. It's Diane McInerney. I just want to say how much I have enjoyed learning from you and having your hospitality, and you're just a wonderful friend. As much as I admire your baskets, Joanna, the thing that I think strikes me most is just how welcoming you've always been. Um, and it's always been amazing to be invited to your home and when I step in it's like I'm home <laughs> and it has always felt wonderful to spend time with you and your family and really feel like I am a part of that so thank you so much most everything I am as a basket maker most everything that I do is because of Joanna I'm so inspired by her we started out in her dining room. There were kids, grandkids around. There was the cat, Norman wanting dinner, newspapers, and she had me make a base. And I got it all done, and I was pretty proud of it. And I, she looked at it and said, yeah, that's pretty good. Make another one. And I made another one, and another one, and another one. I think that weekend I might have made 12 bases. And every single time, John would say, think about what you're doing. Think about the willow. If you make a good base, you'll have a good basket. Every time I go to visit Joanna, it's been more than 20 years now since that first apprenticeship. Every time I go into her and watch her weave, she's got something new to teach me. Sometimes she says, oh, I've taught you that before. And I was like, I don't remember. But every single time, I'm just amazed at her talent with the willow, how she can make such amazing baskets. You inspired so many people. Thank you for showing us the willow way. Okay, hi Joanna, it's Frances Richardson. I was in the Amana colonies a couple of years ago with Joe and you and I figured out that our husbands are related and that's one of my favorite Willow stories. Ready. Hi Joanna. Um, I just want to tell you how much I appreciate your love of tradition and your deep commitment um, to the Amana ways and to the basketry in particular. Your passion has allowed us to spread our wings and um, I cannot put into words just what it means to me and what it means to everybody who's here at Decora. So I thank you from the bottom of my heart. It's an honor to know you. Oh, and by the way, your cookies are awesome. Thank you. <laughs> I just wanted to let you know how grateful I am for all of your help with my path on Willow and you and Laura and Kathy and those early Willow weekends and early workshops were fantastic. You were there in the beginning, you've been there all along the way and you're still the person that I think about when I'm trying to figure things out in this basket world. 
So I can't thank you enough. We've had such good adventures, and it's always a joy to be with you. So thank you for everything. Thank you, Joanna. Thank you for everything. Um, if it wasn't for Joanna, I probably wouldn't be doing what I'm doing today. I know it's Seth Lee, Donna, Jackie, and maybe the rest of you. So thank you, Joanna.